Okay, welcome back. Um, so what I have here is a galleries category blog. Um, just like the American, British, and Japanese motorcycles were different category blogs, my galleries menu item here is a category blog. And I've got three articles, okay? And if I click on one here, you know, like hill climbs, it just takes me to a single article. And the idea is to put galleries in all of these different articles right here, okay? So let's go to the extension manager. So that would be um, extensions. Extension manager. Okay, now yours might not look like this right here. Okay, it just depends. Um, you may have seen an area right here that says, you know, click this to add this install from web plugin. And if you do have it, you can search right here, you know, for example, search galleries. And um, let's see, by the way, this is one of the ones we're going to use. And we're going to use this one here as well. So if you, you know, jump over here to the Joomla directory, you can do the same exact thing. All right, so I'm going to do a search for gallery here. Oh. Okay, and there's a lot of galleries. Um, looks like over 700 galleries. So you can go ahead and explore all those if you want to. And um, anyway, the one that I know that I want is the simple image gallery. You can see I've already searched for it. There we go. Um, so simple image gallery. Okay, so it's for Joomla 2.5 and 3, which is great. And I'm going to go ahead and just click on this. Okay, so we can download it. And of course, it looks like we can demo it as well. And it's nice that it's free, right? And it's actually a really nice gallery. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so just like when we installed modules last week, we gotta search a little bit. And I know I want version three, or you know, for Joomla three. Okay, now, what I wanna do now is inst actually install this. So just like before, we're gonna install it just like when we installed the modules last week. And I need to grab a plugin. As you can see, I've downloaded this quite a few times. Okay, um, yep, click upload and install. There we go. Okay, so simple image gallery. Um, as we can see right here, it says it's a plugin, not a module. Okay, so let's go to the plugin manager. All right, and there is simple image gallery. All right, so, well, let's enable it. Okay, and let's see what else we have here. Okay, so see how this says images right here? That's referring to the media manager, okay? And let's read more about this plugin. Uh, the plugin can turn any folder of images located inside your Joomla website into a grid style image gallery. All we do is grab this short code right here and paste it into an article, okay? So um, let's make sure that everything is enabled properly on the plugin. Yep, we're good. Let's save and close. Okay, I'm gonna jump over to content, article manager and it's already filtered for me. There's my hill climbs. And what I want to do is paste that gallery right here. And I'll show you what I mean here. Okay, so you see how this says my photos right there? Now, if you recall, when we just now enabled the plugin, it was pointing to a folder called images, right? Um, I'll show you what I mean real quick, why not? Um, so, plugin manager, simple image gallery. Okay, again, it's pointing to images, right? So what does that mean? All right. What I want to do is take a look at the media manager. This folder is called images. That's the name of it. All right. And then within that, I created this gallery folder. Okay. And inside of there, I created more folders like this hill ones. Okay. So the images part is already assumed. Okay. So we don't need to type that, but I do need to type in gallery slash hills. Okay. And that's actually it. That's all we have to do and save that come over here to the front end and let's take a look at our hill climbs okay and it installed a really nice gallery for us and you know if we click on it they pop up like this and we can scroll through them and they're all different size photos as you can see and that one's really tiny but it seems to work great and uh, just look at that chain right there okay so we have it set up right now in our article, but remember this uh, gallery here was a category blog. And so right now it's showing all the images. So we obviously need to set up our read more. If you remember that and look how easy this is, just come down here and throw in a read more. Okay. And um, just like before, and since we did that, let's throw an image in. Okay. I'm going to repeat the same process as uh, from a couple of videos ago, right? I got my little teasers folder right here and um, grab that hill climb. Okay, yeah, I'm sure you can see this where this is going, right? We're kind of just doing a repeat of the same stuff we've already done, except for this time it's going to set up our gallery. So let's refresh our page and just like that, right? And if we click on it, there's our nice gallery. 
Okay, so obviously using the short codes with that simple image gallery plugin is easy. Um, let's look at one that takes a module instead. So I'm going to close out of this, and we're going to go back to the extension manager for a different gallery. Um, okay, so we can do a search for gallery right here, or um, depending on the version of Joomla you're using, you might be going to the uh, Joomla extensions directory. Okay, and I'm going to do a search for SIG+. Plus. Okay. And um, anyway, this is the SIG Plus Gallery, and it's free. It's actually a really great gallery. Um, okay, so over here, um, the M right there stands for module, and that's what we're looking for is one that takes a module. So let's go ahead and download it. Okay, so lots of choices here. Um, the top one there says Joomla 2.5 Plus, so anything above 2.5. I'm going to go ahead and grab the most recent download here. I've already downloaded this a couple of times today, actually. Um, Okay, so once that's ready, now this part here, if you probably guessed, is just like installing any other modules. So go ahead and search for it, upload and install, and successful. Okay, so we know this is a module, right? And again, I'm going to go back to the SIG Plus page. Okay, just to clarify what I was talking about with these little uh, M's in. P's up here. Okay, so see how that says module for the tooltip and plugin? Just let you know what kind of gallery it is. And I want to demo a module one. So, module manager. Okay, and see how that says SIG Plus right there? It's already set up for us. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to publish it. I want to hide the title. For the position, remember we're in the default Protostar template still. And, you know, I don't even know what to try here. Top center, position three. Let's do that. Okay, now the image folder location, um, we have to type in the whole one for this. So we're going to type in images slash gallery. Okay, and then I want to reference a different folder this time. Uh, old riders, okay? So I just need to type in old underscore riders. Okay, no spaces. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what options we have here. Rows, four, columns, four. We could always change this if we don't like the way it looks. And that's probably it. Let's assign the module. Remember, this is a module, not a plugin, so we have to assign it. Um, okay, so only on the pages selected, deselect them all, and just on my old school writer's article. Okay, um, that's probably good. It's going to work now. We might have to make some adjustments next. So, okay, so let's go over here and um, go to our old school writer's page, and that'll automatically refresh for us. And there we go, and it seems to work just fine. Um, they're wrong sizes, but I really like the way this particular gallery works. I like how they resize like that. Um, yeah, I think it's just a great little gallery. And you know, you can put these modules anywhere you want to and put this gallery inside of it. It's pretty sweet. Okay, as you can tell, I really like these pictures. I keep clicking on them. All right, so anyway, um, I don't like how these are all different sizes, though. So um, it looks kind of messy. So anyway, let's go check out our options here. Um, Okay, back to the module. Um, I can see right here it says crop when resizing. That's probably all we need. Um, okay, there's a lot of other options here I'm sure we can explore. Um, anyway, I bet that's all we need to do though to get nice little square gallery going, which is what I want. Let's go over here again and check it out. Okay, refresh, and there we go, and it looks good. So again, this gallery is just one of many. It's free. And um, you know, it, I think it works really well. And because it's a module, you can actually uh, put these modules in any position that you want to and have a nice little gallery, all right? Okay, so um, remember this is a module within an article, and this article is within a category blog, okay? So um, notice how there's no intro image right here. That's because all the images are just within a module right here, okay? So what we need to do is close out of this and actually go to the article manager. Okay, and old school writers. All right, and we can delete this text right here. Okay, and then we just add that images and links intro image, just like we did before, okay? Um, we've done this a few times now. So I just want to, you know, add that 200 pixel wide image I have already prepared. And um, yeah, that's it, okay? And we'll save. Easy enough. There's no text. We don't even have to add a read more. So let's go over to the gallery and uh, refresh. And that's exactly what we're looking for right there, okay? And we click on that, and that really nice gallery opens up, okay? So... 
Out of the ga two galleries that we've looked at so far, this uh, SIG Plus gallery here, I like this one more. Um, I just like the way it looks more. So um, anyway, what I guess I want to do is install, I'm going to close this and then install the same gallery with different images in a different article, okay? Okay, so that's what I want to do. Um, if you recall, I'm going to head to the module manager. When we installed the SIG Plus, it automatically put a module up here for us to use. But I want a different one with different images in it. Okay, so I have to come up here to new and then create a new instance of this module. All right, so let's see, down here at the bottom, there it is, SIG Plus. Okay, um, I have to, let's see, what do we got to do here? Set up the path again. And so um, I know it's in the images and in the gallery folder. And let's see, I, I have to look here. Let's see, back to the media manager. Um, posters. Okay, that's the one. We're going to set up a gallery of vintage ads. Okay, going to be really cool. So posters, and then for, I don't remember how many images. There's a lot of images in there, so we'll put 10. And then four columns again. Okay, and what else should we do here? Um, lots of options. Definitely crop when resizing now, or we'll just end up having to go back and do that. Um, let's see. Same thing again here. We're going to go ahead and deselect, and then put it this time on our vintage ads. Um, article and I got a warning here because I forgot to name it so let's go ahead and name it um, I'll name it vintage ads okay and we'll just save okay because of the warning it reset um, my page selections again so let's just do that again real quick um, select none and then vintage ads here okay and then we'll save and oh, I have to select a position so the protostar template and again I think that was top center position three Okay, so looking good there. So um, now all we have to do is save. Okay, now let's go ahead and close out of this. So um, what I want to do now is go back to the um, article, okay? Because remember where this is sitting is just inside of an article. So let's check out the article. So article manager. Um, okay, so the vintage ads, all right? There's a few things that I want to change on this right off the bat. I want to delete this text, okay? That was just some placeholder text. Throw in the intro image, okay, we're just doing the same thing we've been doing over and over again. Uh, gallery teasers, there's my uh, vintage poster, okay, and we'll go ahead and uh, save that. And that should do it, so let's go over here and refresh. Okay, and actually we'll go to the category blog for our galleries, there's our vintage poster, and let's click on the vintage ads link. All right, and there is another instance of the SIG Plus Gallery. It's calling on a different folder full of images, and it is in a different module on a different article. Okay, so that's how you can use the same module on multiple pages. Okay, and again, I really like this gallery. It's free, definitely recommended. Of course, though, feel free to explore all the different galleries that are in the extensions directory because there are apparently currently 717 different galleries. If you're a beginner to Joomla, I really recommend this SIG gallery that we just did because it's pretty straightforward and it involves a module and then you can put this module in all different kinds of places. So um, anyway, that about sums it up for working with galleries. Um, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and dive into templates. Okay, thanks.